what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you're stopping by the channel for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel and while you're at it smash that like button for me i really would appreciate it if you want up to 15 free stocks mumu is gonna give you up to 15 free stocks when you open a new mumu brokerage account they're gonna give you up to 15 free stocks there's a link down in the description box of this video when you put a hundred dollars in your Moomoo -moo account, they're gonna give you five free stocks. When you put a thousand dollars in your Moomoo -moo account, they'll give you 15 free stocks. Now you gotta do this immediately, guys. You can't wait 30, 40, 50 days and then decide to do it. You're not gonna get the free stocks. So if you go click on that link and you open your Moomoo -moo account, my recommendation, start the process of depositing money in there immediately. As soon as your application is approved, you should start depositing money in that account. Now, if you deposit $100, like I said, you'll get five free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, like I said, right away, you'll get 15 free stocks. There's a wealth transfer happening. You can sit on the sideline and watch other people transfer wealth to their family and do nothing. Or you can put yourself in the game and by having a good brokerage account, that's the first step. So click on that Moomoo link down in the description box. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. I want to walk you guys through a wealth transfer blueprint that I've been talking about over the last several videos. And I think it's important that I walk you guys through this because I've been getting asked by a lot of you guys, Richard, 2024 is here. What should I be doing if I wanna build wealth? I'm gonna give you the blueprint today. 10 year long-term outlook. That's what we're gonna use in this blueprint. We gotta run hard for 10 years. And in those 10 years, if you do what I'm recommending you do, you'll build wealth. You will have a large pot of gold at the end of your rainbow. First thing you got to do is you got to earn, guys. We got to earn. We got to get out here and make income. Income is our number one tool to build wealth. If I'm making an income right now and it's not enough, I got to get out and make more. Plain and simple. There ain't no sugar coating it. If I'm only making $3,000 a month, but I'm living on $4,000, I got to get out and make more money. My goal should be to double my income in the next 60 days. Richard, that's impossible. No one can do that. Yeah, you can. If you're making $3,000 a month right now, you can be making six in 60 days. You just got to go out and apply yourself. Well, how would I do that? Do you own a car? Okay, if you own a car, guess what? Get out there and start door dashing it. Get out there and start Ubering it or lifting it. Start working 20 hours a day, sleeping four. Give up some of this pleasure stuff that we want to award ourselves with every single week. Oh, I work 30 hours and I need 20 hours of leisure. No, you don't. That's the attitude you got to have, though. If we're going to sit around here and be pessimistic about it, you're never going to earn any more income. Right? Stop scrolling through your phone and, and, and looking at other people's lifestyle. Get out there and earn some more money and, and get your lifestyle better. Second thing you gotta do in this, in this blueprint is you gotta stop spending money to make other people wealthy. You gotta control your spending, guys. That's one of the things we do a terrible job of is controlling our spending. We spend our money on all the wrong things. Why? Because we think they're a need when actually they're a want, right? We gotta stop spending our money on things that make other people wealthy. We gotta go and sit down and put together a budget, a financial budget. 
And in that budget, we should know exactly how much income we got coming in and we should know exactly how much of that income is going out and where it's going to. We need to write down every single dime we spend. And then we need to start crossing out wants, things that are not essential to life, right? Going to the barber shop, going to the nail salon, buying clothes, additional clothes that you don't need. You already got clothes. Trips. We don't need all that stuff, man. Not when you're broke and you're trying to build some wealth. That money needs to be redirected into assets. So you got to control your spending, man. And the way, the best way I know how to control my spending is I sit down and I write out a budget. I write out my income and I write out my expenses. And then I start going through my expenses, crossing them out. These wants and only keep the needs. Number three, got to stay out of debt, guys. We got big fancy cars, with big, big, large monthly payments. We got big old houses that we don't even really need the big old mortgage payments. We got credit card debt up to our eyeballs. Guys, we got to stay out of debt, consumer debt. Now, I don't got no problem if you got a mortgage, but it should be a mortgage on a modest home, not some 4,000 square foot home that only you and somebody else live in. You don't need all that. Downsize, that's what you need to be doing. You need to downsize. So that's my recommendation when it comes to debt, guys. Get your debt under control and you'll be in a position to do the things you need to do in order to have money to build wealth. And then the fourth thing you got to do, once you get the first three things done, you got to save and invest. See, that's where the rubber meets the road. But if you don't do those first three things I talked about, you won't have any money to save and invest. Saving and investing is the key to this blueprint because in this 10 year blueprint, you're gonna take a certain amount of money for 10 straight years, every single month for 10 straight years and you're gonna invest it in assets that build wealth. Now, I like certain assets. So I'm gonna tell you what assets I would buy in my 10 year wealth transfer blueprint i would take at least a thousand dollars a month and put it in s p 500 over the last 90 years it has on average a historical rate of return between seven and ten percent over the next 10 years if i got an eight percent average rate of return on my thousand dollars a month which is twelve thousand dollars a year i would have close to two hundred thousand dollars in my wealth transfer pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I wanna be invested in the broader stock market. Now, a lot of people might say, well, that's all equities, that's concentrated. I'm broke. I need to be in equities because that's where the growth is. That's where the wealth transfer is gonna happen. I'm not gonna build from zero to $200,000 pot of gold at the end of the rainbow in my money market account. That's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, guys. Not over the next 10 years. So if that's where you wanna keep it, keep it, but you, 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 your, your pot ain't gonna have a lot of gold in it in 10 years. I'm trying to recommend something to you that potentially will have a big old, huge amount of gold in your pot. Drop me some comments down in the comment box and let me know what you guys think about that. Curious to hear your feedback. If you want, up to 15 free stocks. Mumu is gonna give you up to 15 free stocks when you open a new Mumu account, guys, and deposit at least $100 up to $1,000. Link down in the description box below. Stop by the channel for the first time. Please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. Stay healthy, get wealthy, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom. 
whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.